Hi everyone and welcome to this playwright tutorial. In this tutorial we will learn about API chaining in the playwright. So let's begin. First let's understand what is API chaining and then we will see why we need it. And finally we will do a practical on this one. So what is API chaining? So API chaining means that we will be extracting a value from one API response and passing that value to the other APIs. Okay. So let's understand this concept more. So again, I will be using this particular website from here. Let me copy this one. Let me open the browser here and let's open this one and just click on guide here. And here you see that we have different APIs available, like creating a resource. So basically creating a post here. Okay. And this is the output of this particular API. So basically this API is a post method and it's creating a record basically in terms of the post and this is the post. Okay. And as soon as you hit this API in return, this API will give you this response, right? And this is the ID generated for this particular post here. Okay. And now what you need to do is that you need to update this post. Okay. So here is, is the basically, uh, updating a post api and here the method is put and again you see that you have to send a body in order to update this particular post and here this is a hard coded value for the post so if you provide a value here it will identify the number of posts and here you see that we are getting the id in the response of this particular api so now what i have to do is that when we are automating the apis or when we are basically making the API chains here, or in, in other words, we are doing some end to end tests on the API. So what I will be doing is that I will be creating a post here and extracting this value from here. And I will be passing this value here. And so that I can update the same post, which I have created in the similar way I will be doing for the patch here. And I will be deleting, deleting the same post here. Okay. So it will make a chain. So you don't need to go and provide the hard coded values. One thing it will make your test end to end. And that's how you can test your APIs. So this is the main concept of API chaining where you will make a chain of the APIs, extracting a value from one API and passing that value in the other APIs. Now let me give you one more example here. So if I scroll up here, so basically you see that if I want to fetch all the posts, so this is a get API basically, and it will fetch all the posts. And this is something we get in the response. Here you see that ID of the post one, two, three, add up to hundred, whatever the number of records would be. And we are getting the details. Now what I need to do is that once I will hit this API, I will get all the posts here. Okay. And from that post, I want to see how much comments are getting that particular post. So here we have an API. So this is the API slash post slash one. Again, here one is the post. Okay. ID of the post basically. And if I click on this one, so here you see that this particular post ID here, you see this only one, 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 one. And this particular post has this multiple comments here. Okay. So now in order to automate this thing, what I will do is that I will send a request here. So basically if I go with this one, so let me copy this one from here and paste it here. So here you see that we have all the posts available here. Okay. So all posts are available. So what I will do is that I will extract a value and pass that in the upcoming request so that I can know about the comments for this particular post. Okay. And let me go to the Visual Studio code here and let's start writing a code. Simply I will create one new file here. I will name it as API underscore chaining dot spec dot js and the first thing is that we need to import the test and expect from the playwright so copy this one from here and paste it here and now let's create our test test name of the test is 
API chaining followed by so followed by a sync okay and we need to pass a request fixture here okay followed by an arrow function and this is the body of your test here now i will do comments here as well so that you can listen the code so first thing is that i will be uh, getting all posts here okay and in order to get this one simply i will create one variable const post response is equal to await and using this request fixture so we will be using request dot so this will be a get method so get and here we need to provide the url so let me go to the browser here so for all posts this is the url so let me copy this one from here and paste it here and now we have this thing now the first thing is that let's assert this thing before we actually make a chain so we will assert the things uh, in parallel okay so i will go with the assertion expect post response dot status and status to be status to sorry not here status to be and the status we want 200 so 200 means that our request is working fine and if this is working fine then what i will do is that i will parse the response body to the json so parse response body to json so again this is really simple so simply i will create const post is equal to await post response so post response has all the details of the response it contains headers status uh, you know response body everything so from that i need a response body only because i will be extracting a value from the response body so here we have a method called json and it will pass the body here and now now i need to extract a value so basically if i want to extract a value so how i can do this so simply i will create one variable because i want to save this in a variable first so i will go with the first post is equals to posts and i am going here with the indexes so zero index means that the record on the the first record basically so i am referring to because this is an array and it, this array contains a lot of records here so what i am doing is that so i am getting this one okay the first record so so, so the first record is basically on the zero index here okay and now once i have this complete record from the array but what i need to do i need to now pass the value but still our you know the things are still you know not done completely here we are getting the complete response right this is complete post and from this post actually i need a id here as well so now here what i'll do is that i will be using so get comments from the selected post now this is what i need to do so simply const so i will say comments response is equal to await again request dot get and inside this i need to pass the url so if i go back here so this is a url and uh, let me copy this complete url from here and i need to paste it here and now here you see that this is a hard coded value i don't need to provide a hard coded value instead what i will do is that i will pass the value using this one okay and from this one i have to provide the id because it contains all the data so all data means that 
it contains the post id id name email body i need only id from this one okay so again this is pretty simple so instead of this one i need to pass the variable here so you need to provide a dollar sign and in the curly braces okay and inside the curly braces you need to provide like first post dot id okay so from the first post i'm getting a id right and in order to pass a variable here is right now is considering as a string it's not considering this as a variable here so in order to make it this one so you need to remove this sign and go with the this sign so here now you will see that is basically now your variable is passing here so first post dot id so let me type it again so this time you will see that we are getting the sessions here as well so from the first post i need id okay and let me save this one so once we have this one now again let's go with you know sessions here so let me copy this one here and let me assert this one here so instead of comments dot response we need to assert this one here so comments response dot status and we can assert this one and what else we can do so we can again parse the body here and from the body uh, for example if we go here and see that this particular id has multiple uh, you know uh, records here okay post id one has multiple records like more than one so we can assert this thing so simply in order to do that first i need to parse this so again const comments equals to await comments response dot json okay and now i can go with the expect so simply comments dot we have a method called length so length of this uh, comments should be greater than so to be to be greater than and it should be greater than for example zero okay and also you can verify the id here as well so simply expect so comments on comments and on comments zero index again so zero index means if i go back here so again here we have an array of the response so this is index zero okay so index zero should be so index zero dot post id post id so because i'm extracting the post id from this one so this post id one okay dot to be so it should be equals to the first post dot id okay so now we are comparing end to end things here so let me save this one and let me run this one here so simply npx play right test minus g we are grabbing this test and the name of test is api Training and that's it hit enter and see what happens so you see that our test is passed and let me try to you know intentionally fail this one so let me go with this one here and save this one here and let's try this one again so this time it should be failing because i'm intentionally failing this one 
and here you see that we were expecting to zero one and receive 200 status code so simply if i go back here and put it back okay and if you want to see the information about either your records are getting properly extracted or not simply go with the console dot log and inside that print the value okay similarly for this one and for this one comments uh suppose no so for this one and this one here as well this one so let me copy this one from here and paste it here so let me go with this thing here so now save this one and let's run this again and see what happens here so if i run this one so our test is passed and so here you see that this complete record has been captured here so this is the one we are handling here this one this is the thing first post so we are getting a first uh, post from the response so this is a complete post where we have a user id id title and body okay and here we are asserting this value at the end so that's how you can actually uh, you know make the change of the apis or you can assert the apis end-to-end -end flows by extracting a value and passing that value to the other apis thank you so much for watching this tutorial if you like our content then do like comment share and subscribe our channel once again thank you so much and see you in the next tutorial